You have read the title, you know the drill. Reason number one, you practice, but not deliberately. When you sit at your workstation, do you just paint to get the job done, or are you actually trying to improve? This is the big difference that many of us don't realize until we get an army or two done without seeing much of an improvement. And this is kinda obvious, since when you are painting 50 miniatures that are pretty much the same, you won't see that much of a difference. But there is still a room to improve here. Now you guys know that my gateway drug to this hobby was Warhammer. And since then I became f***ing addicted. I am sure that I have painted over 500 Space Marines during my life, and even if they are very similar, you can focus on things like precise edge highlights, building volume more efficiently, practice blending, etc. But it's really important to not do this on autopilot. For example, when you're edge highlighting, are you using body of the brush or just the tip? Is it different for different edges? What about paint? Should you thin it down or add like no water at all? By the way, the more water you add, the thicker they are, but anyway, Way, these are the things that you should be constantly thinking about and asking yourself as you paint. And of course, this doesn't mean that when you paint entire army, you should ask yourself these questions all the time, that would be insane, but as you paint from time to time or when you really feel like practicing deliberately, do ask yourself questions like, which way should my brush strokes go? Do I really have to use white for highlights? What can I do to make this miniature better? And so on and so forth. Reason number two, you are not stealing. Repeat after me, nothing is original, everything is a remix. Facebook wasn't the first social media, they just did their thing really really well. And just like when that one friend repeats the joke you just said but louder and everyone now laughs, ideas don't matter, it's the execution. Look at this sister of battle. You think this is original color scheme? No, I get it from Miniac. The approach for speed painted space marines? That's all from El Minia Turista. You think I paint this pumpkin using my intuition? Think again. And this doesn't mean that you should recreate what you see exactly one to one, but certainly don't be afraid to use some resources to get inspired. And even if you do decide to copy something one to one, imitation is the biggest form of flattery. Besides, if someone makes a tutorial for something, they must expect that other people will come and try to paint the same way. And personally, if you see something that you would like to paint the same way that's on my channel, do it. And this actually follows into reason number three. You are not watching tutorials. This sounds like an ad for my channel, but it really isn't. I have specifically chosen to make many of my tutorials short and concise, so you can understand easily and start painting immediately. And certainly if you don't know anything about some techniques or you are looking for some tips and tricks, these are great. But sometimes it might be a good idea to look at longer tutorials and watch the whole process. Some of my favorite people to watch for educational content are Vince Venturella, Trovarian, Flame on Miniatures, Sergio Calvo, Angel Giraldes, and many many more. The point is, before you start practicing deliberately, you should have a good idea how to achieve it. When I start something new, I always like to search it on Google and YouTube, so I can understand all the nuances and specific things about the technique. Then I pick a certain video and roll with it. Reason number four. You paint the same things over and over again. Painting a whole army of space marines is fine. Painting two armies of space marines is a little bit weird. And painting space marines exclusively now, that's a mental disorder. <laughs> but seriously, how do you expect to paint better when all you know is how to edge highlight something three times over? You never tried non-metallic metal? Try it! Never tried OSL? Give it a go! It will teach you about light, volumes and blending. But aside from trying that on those plasma weapons, you will not get to it unless you paint something new. You don't even have to stick to Warhammer. Or hell, try different scales. For example, switching to bigger scales will teach you a whole lot about texture and how to deal with a flat surface that needs something extra to make it interesting. There are so many beautiful miniatures in the world and not enough time to paint them all and it would be a shame to stick to just one company. And actually, this is a nice segue to talk about today's sponsor, Signum Games. You know them, you love them, Signum Games produces absolutely magical miniatures that I adore. Signum Games already sponsored one of my previous videos, but this time I got my hands on something a little bit spooky. I don't know about you, but Halloween season and pumpkin spice latte is my jam, and so are these miniatures. This Mr. Pumpkin, the Gorgeous and many other miniatures are available for a limited time at their website. There is this sweet Halloween bust, experimental monsters, but my favorites are definitely these scarecrows. So as I already said, if you wanna take a break from painting the same miniatures over and over again, and you like Halloween season as well, 
definitely check the link in the description. Thank you Signum Games for sponsoring this video. But yeah, definitely try to paint something new. Reason number five, you are not putting the time in. And I am not just talking about practice, though it is important and we mentioned that already. From some of my videos it might look like some stuff is painted in matter of hours or minutes even, but that's really not the case. There is a quote that master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. And even though I don't consider myself to be a master by any means, I have certainly dedicated hundreds of hours to perfecting some techniques. Now I have already said that you don't need to have super smooth blends on your miniatures, but hell, when it comes to it, you better know how to do it. From time to time it's worth taking a model and see how far can you push it. Just give it your maximum effort. It doesn't matter that you will spend 30 plus hours on that miniature, since if you are serious about getting better results, it's something worth trying. After such exercise, when you go back to painting at your comfortable level, at your own pace, you will see that things like blending and highlight placement will be much, much easier for you. Also, learn how to do stuff without an airbrush. Airbrush is awesome at saving you your valuable time, but if you really want to improve, learn how to paint everything without it. Reason number six, your gear sucks. Imagine painting in this light, it's bad. You cannot paint if your light is bad or you don't have any light at all. You think light from your window is gonna cut it? Think again. I've been painting without a hobby lamp for many years. Look, it sucks. Look at your brushes. Now look at mine. Now back to yours. See the difference? You think brushes for a dollar are gonna cut it? Think again. Look at your palette. What the fuck? Just get a wet palette already. Like this one. You know what? I talk about the most important hobby tools in one of my videos. So there is gonna be a link somewhere. But before that, bonus reason. You are focused on the wrong things. Now this goes two ways. First, when you see someone who paints really well, instead of telling yourself, oh, I will never get to that level, ask yourself, how do I get to that level? And proceed and follow them on Instagram for daily motivation. And second, when you are painting miniatures, instead of focusing on smoothness, focus on contrast. Sure, smoothness is important to an extent, but it will only get you so far. Now, contrast, that's where it's at. But this is a bonus reason, because I have a video for that as well. So go and check it out and see you there.